You mean to tell me the beach was left unattended? I really had to go. And the city doesn't supply enough budget for two lifeguards in the area at the same time. I spoke with your boss and according to her you have a history of disappearing on the job. Seems as last week you were written up when you were found smoking marijuana in the first aid station. Sound familiar? See, I, I get these back pains. What about last month? A domestic disturbance called to your home? A grinder hookup that got a little too rough? And then you were nowhere to be found when a young woman's body begins to wash up on the shore. Do you see how this is looking for you? 
I swear, I was in the bathroom the whole time. I forgot my lunch at home, so I gave in and ate the sourpuss on the pier. And my digestive system didn't really like that. Are you trying to be funny? No, Detective. Honest. I'm innocent. Are you gonna have me arrested? My mom's gonna be so mad. You can go home right now. But don't be getting any ideas about leaving town soon. I may have more questions for you later. Oh, thank you, Detective Burns. I won't, I promise. All right. Get out of my hair. Something doesn't add up. It's DJ Carter B with you again on this beautiful Friday morning in LA. And as usual, Highway 5 southbound is backed up, looking at about a 20 minute delay due to a three car pileup. But in more exciting news, is it a serial killer? A rogue shark, a secret government conspiracy. Just this morning, the remains of a young woman washed up on Newport Beach. Details are still a bit sketchy, but authorities have suggested it might have something to do with a similar incident in Tijuana just a few days prior. We'll keep you updated here on WKIL LA, but in the meantime, let's get this holiday weekend off to a glorious start, and let's get lit with a brand new track from the City Bros. <laughs> What do you want now? I'm pregnant. What? Oh shit. You know what? You're so fucking crazy. Get out of my life. You haven't seen me crazy yet. He still loves you, you know. out here watching the dolphin show you should see these things jump these things are crazy you know you got to get out here you, you got any of the weed yeah you got the wacky stuff right all right all right, all right. come on out here i'm really jonesing for it after these dolphins i really want to get a little tripped out uh, i'm not i'm not trying to rush you i know i know you i know but meet me at the end of the pier all right yeah 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 i'll see you soon all right now hurry up 
I, I'm sorry, sorry. No, we get here as you can, but please soon. All right, all right. I'll see you soon. I really appreciate you three dedicating your morning to help out. So much to do before the grand opening Sunday, and very little time. Now, first things first. Sherry, did you inform the newspaper at about the time? Yes, sir. The press will be here about 30 minutes early. Wonderful. Eric, what about the permits? The mayor will be here tomorrow to sign off on them. After that, we'll be all good. Excellent. What would you like me to do, sir? Well, I want you to follow me. I'm gonna give you a tour of the ground. And one day this will all be yours, you know. And you too, I would ask you to do the cleaning. We need to uh, finish the mopping and, and, uh, and the tablecloths. I'll be back in, uh, in about an hour and we'll go over the plan for Sunday. Follow me, kid. Oh man, it's crazy what happened to that chick. Do you think it could have been a shark that did it? <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't doubt it, man. This beach is so trashed, like, anything's possible. I wouldn't be surprised if a shark bit her. He's probably pissed off. You really think so? Yeah, I mean, listen, this is Oceanside. It's not gonna happen out here. That, that was over in Newport Beach. I mean, nothing ever happens out here. You're probably right, dude. You're probably right. Hey, beautiful. Hi. I'm so sorry I'm late. I had a client last minute and it took me forever to get rid of him. You're worth the wait. I knew it. It's that side bitch Rebecca. The girl he cheated on you with? Mm hmm. That's her. But it's all good. Karma's a bitch. And her name's Frank Whitty. I got the perfect one. So, tell me about this client of yours. No, no more work. I'm done for your work today. Tell me, how was your morning? So far, so good. Uh, did, did you hear about the body that washed up at Newport Beach? No, I haven't heard anything. Really? Really? Some people are saying it's a serial killer. I'm willing to bet it's a shark. A shark? Why do you think that? They found the body in pieces. My friend was asleep when this happened. Okay. If it was a serial killer, why would you leave her alive? And they fought with the body in shallow water. It was found immediately. Good point. But if it is a shark, hopefully it stays away from here. Because this weekend, we're having that big grand opening of the resort on the beach. And wait, here's more. I heard there is free hot corn shrimp on my wall. We're going, right? Yeah, my, uh, my father's the owner. No way. I had no idea. Yeah, we kind of big balling out. He uh, cheated on my mom before she passed away. So we're gonna talk. My younger brother should talk to him. People make mistakes. And he's your father. Don't you think we talk to him maybe? How long have you been talking to him? This is the fight about three years ago. So don't you think a good conversation is in order? What? what are you trying to do? Yes. Nothing. I just think everybody needs their parents. My parents are still in Bulgaria. And I would do anything to be with them right now. Your father, it's right down the road. And you don't even talk to him? Don't you think it's time to forgive and forget, maybe? 
I mean, maybe. You don't even know my father. You'd be a real player. Besides, I don't even think you ever apologized to him. So, you be the bigger man and you forgive him. Besides, I really want the pop crunch you. <laughs> you know I can't resist that face. Yeah. That's it, that's it. That's it. Woo. I'll tell you what. Ah, it's just too much. Too much, ladies. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is great stuff. Great stuff. Wait till my mother sees it. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. Smile, baby. Smile. Ah, oh, that's the stuff. Perfect. 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 All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think I got a new battle. Take five minutes, okay, ladies? All right, I got the camera. How about that money shot? There you go. Woo! Perfect, perfect. Give me a break. Getting pretty high. Can we go shoot in the water? Yeah, I'm down for getting wet. Let's go, baby. Hey! Woo! <laughs> I got you, I got you, I got you. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woo! Loving it, loving it, loving it. Yeah. Give me something else touching your leg in a second, sweetie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on. That's fine. Let's go. Woo, good stuff there. Probably just a school of small baby fish or something. You're right by the quarry. Come on, stop crying. Give me some stuff here. Let's go. Woo. That's it. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Wait. What are you doing out there? Hey, Lana. Lana, where? Where are you at? Now what? Here's where we're gonna set up the party. It could be rented out for conferences, banquets, hell, even bingo night. I don't care as long as they pay up front. You think we're gonna have a good turnout for the opening? Oh, yeah, it's good. I'm confident we will. It's a prime location. And our only competition is a sour puss. So we don't have much to worry about there. <laughs> you think mom's watching? I'm sure she is, huh? Teeth marks alone make it obvious. Clearly, this is not the work of a serial killer. Now, sharks rarely attack unless provoked, and usually 100 feet from the shore. But keep in mind, a shark does this as a means of protection. A recent study revealed that for every human killed by a shark, two million sharks are killed by humans. Now, how's that for some perspective? 
Having fun in that Cali sun? Shark fuel! Need a pick-me-up and feeling out of luck? Shark fuel! Don't be left behind! Here's another rewind! Shark fuel! It's a splash! Shark fuel. Available now at Winlow Grocers and Charlie's. Another victim, this time at Long Beach. Supermodel Alana Evans was participating in a photo shoot yesterday on the beach before she was attacked in the water by what experts are now confirming to be a shark. Officials believe it to be an isolated incident. However, that beach will remain closed for the weekend until the investigation is complete. Now tourists and you locals out there are encouraged to enjoy one of our many other beaches in Southern California this holiday weekend, like beautiful Oceanside. That's celebrating the grand opening of the resort regatta. And as always, we will keep you updated here at WKIL LA. But in the meantime, let's get this party started with a new single from The Checks. Another shark attack? Yeah. Over in Long Beach, dude. Do you think it was the same shark, or do you think it could be like a different shark, or maybe a shark's working in teams, you know, like a whole squad of sharks, crazy killer sharks? Dude, this isn't some Jaws shit. Is that uh, supermodel, what's her name? I mean, she's probably out in the water, flapping her fake boobs all over the place, and the shark got scared and bit her. I don't know, man. All I know is you're not going to catch me going out in this water anytime soon. I know you want to see me take off my shirt and see my, my loose moves, oh but my you're not going to see it. You're not gonna see, and I also, I don't tan well at all. Oh, what a nice surprise to see you here today. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's just me. The boys decided to take a little break before tomorrow. Oh. Ooh. Maybe we could have some of alone time. Hello there. Hi. What a lovely surprise. Got plans for lunch today? 
you know? I was thinking sourpuss over on the pier. Sounds awesome for me. Very beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. That's it. Perfect. Today's the day. <laughs> that bitch is mine. <laughs> What do you think? I think it's obvious. Looks like shark bait to me. Uh, hi, I'm Dr. Juke Westwin. I'm, I'm gonna need your help. I've been tracking the four recent shark attacks in the area, and something isn't adding up. What do you mean? Well, detectives seem to think it's the work of a single rogue shark, but I'm not sure about that. Do you have a map? Now, the first attack was a few days ago in Tijuana. Following that, in Newport Beach, and then just yesterday, another one in Long Beach. What are you implying? I don't think there's just one shark. I mean, that's a long distance for any fish to, to travel with no clear path. He has a point. But why would several sharks be attacking at once? I don't know, that's why I need your help. I mean, but could it be possible that, that for some reason they're forming a mob mentality and attacking in various places all at once. Mm, sharks can't process thoughts that way. However, some experts believe they possess ESP and can use it to communicate with each other over vast distances. Dogs and cats do it all the time to find their way home if they get lost. A girl I went to high school with lost her pet cat Fluffy during a move and it showed up to her new home over a hundred miles away like a week later. It's true. If you have any evidence from the attacks, we could try running some tests and see if the shark DNA matches between victims. Uh, I don't know if that could be possible, but I can try talking to the local authorities. Good luck with that this weekend. All the police are down at Oceanside this holiday weekend. A new resort is opening tomorrow, and everyone will be there. They can't open tomorrow. They could put a lot of lives in danger. You could try going down and talking to Robert at the resort today. I bet he's there setting up. Well, that could be my last hope. So excited for that opening tomorrow. I can wait. Yes.
Yeah? What is it? Hey, do you still have that boat? Hey, uh, I'm sorry about earlier. Frank Lita can be a real jealous bitch sometimes. Hey. Let's not talk about her right now. Oh, baby. Someone's got to stop this thing. So, you really think we're gonna find this bastard out here? I think it's our best bet. Sharks come to this area to feed. The sun goes down. What was that? Settle down. That could have been anything. There'll be a school of stingrays around this part this time of year. No, that, that felt big. It's him. I know it. Oh, the fire. I know what you blasting a hole in my boat. Mikey, go check it out. I got it, baby. I don't see anything. Why, you goddamn fool. Start!
Rise and shine, it's DJ Carter B, and I'm coming to you live from Oceanside at the big grand opening of Resort Regatta. I'll be down here all day popping up the jams you want to hear. Come on down from 11 to 2 for a free wiener, courtesy of Sherman's Sandy Sandwiches Food Truck, and request a tune like this next hit from City Bros. Up in the city, yeah, we thugging, yeah. chilling with my homies, Yo. bang. seen before. Let me take a look. Did you get the samples I had sent over? Yeah, they just arrived. Come take a look at this. There was a shark tooth embedded in the remains of the Newport Beach victim, and we were able to extract a DNA sample. We added the blood cells to this dish with several other species of fish, and it dominates every one of them. Look here. What am I looking at here? Don't you see it? It's a rogue gene. It's attaching itself to other forms of life and mutating. I, I don't understand this. I mean, what, what could be causing this and why? The animal kingdom is always evolving. Just look at us. It really wasn't that long ago that we were walking on all fours. Maybe we're witnessing the new phase of shark evolution. That or either Mother Nature is really pissed off. I mean, look at the pollution these days. It's like we've been ruined the entire ecosystem already. I have to make a phone call. At six o'clock will be the wine tasting, followed by the Mr. Muscle contest, which I'll be judging, of course. Then dinner at eight. Oh, and the volunteers will be arriving at 5.30 and they're gonna serve the all-you-can-eat shrimp with the wine at six. Dad? Sam, what are you doing here? Can we talk? Sure. Let me take this call first. There's Avocada. Can I help you? Yeah, I need to speak to the person in charge. This is he. Who am I speaking to? We haven't met yet. I'm Dr. Duke Westwin. Um, I'm a bit of a shark expert. You may have seen my recent article in National Geographic. What, what, what's this all about? Recent shark attacks. I wanted to warn you. We've been studying them and their genes are mutating. I think until we get this sorted out, you should postpone the grand opening tonight. We would not want to put any other lives at risk. What shark attack? I don't know what you're talking about. It's been all over the news. They haven't captured the shark, or should I say sharks, yet. Look, I'm busy. Don't you call here again. Hello? Robert? Robert? Hello? I'm guessing they didn't believe him. I wish there was something we could do. We really did all we can. 
Besides, you know Robert. He's got his brother, the mayor, wrapped around his finger. Not opening today would be a physical nightmare for them. I just hope the professor stays safe. He's kind of cute. <laughs> that was a long, long time no see. What was that about? I don't know, some crazy person. Told me I should stop the program today. And, uh, about sharks, I'm thinking about sharks. I mean, that might not be a bad idea. There's been a lot of accidents recently. Don't you start to. I mean, shark bites all the time, every summer. Listen, I didn't come here to argue with you, Dad. I just came to say I'm sorry. I didn't expect that. I still think what you did to Mom was shitty, but I'm wanting to move on from that now. Kirk, there's a lot of things about the relationship I have with your mother you don't understand. So, maybe we can get together soon. My father and son dinner and talk about it. I can't say no to that. Well, since you're here, how about giving us a hand? Uh, we're short-staffed. Your brother would love to see you. Sure, yeah. Um, I do want to let you know that I'm meeting a friend here. A lady friend. Ooh, a lady friend. <laughs> uh, Dad, don't get into wild ideas. She's mine. What's up, bro? Oh, man. What's up, brother? I missed you, man. Missed you, too. Brings you around here. A date, actually. Nice. And Dad and I here had to sort something out. Uh, actually, hey, uh, can you help me with the carpets real quick? Sure, let's do it. Yeah.
I will track you down. I will find you. And I will kill you. I don't know what this is for. What's in a string? My drugs. <laughs> My God. Just give it a little something for. Just in a mug. Open up his mind a little. You mean like open his legs, you dirty freaking dog? My God. Oh my God. <laughs> I gotta warn them myself. Sir, you have to come see the 
this. I thought I told you to knock. But sir, this is an emergency. There's been another shark attack. Damn it, I heard enough about sharks. They're setting up in the conference room. Why did you tell them they could do that? That room is still off limits. But sir. You're fired. Excuse me? You heard me. You're fired. Now get out or I'll have you removed. No one is going to take this day away from me. No one. Ethel! Bitch. Oh. Oh. Calm down, all right, everybody. Please calm down. The police are going to be here shortly. I don't get paid enough or suck enough to put up with this. Your dad is a fraud! <laughs> Am I, am I too late? Oh, hey, I've seen you on TV. Yeah, you, what happened here? A shark attack. Hey, we're dealing with more than one shark here. What? Is the owner in? I need to speak to him. My dad? Yeah, he's yeah. in his office. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Hey, Dad, there's someone here to see you. Dad? Dad. It's like a heart attack. What's going on? Dad? Dad? Dad! Come on. Dad! Buzzkill, dude. Totally. That guy's dead. He's right dead right there. I have an idea how we can stop them. But I need some bait. Some human bait. Ah, this is gonna get messy. Goes out about 10 yards, so stay close. Sure, it's gonna work. There's only two or three sharks out there, right? The territorial, and they'll fend for the hunting grounds. This has to work. Got it.
Are you rolling again? Yes. Okay. 